morning everybody welcome back to my vlog ding <laughs> um yeah welcome back to another boring vlog in which i do not very much at all and hopefully you will still like comment and subscribe um, yeah, I wanted to film today because I have the day off from work and I think I'm going to start entitling this vlog series Sad Girl Vlogs as I was joking around with my best friend last night because this is what these vlogs end up being is me being sad and talking about my feelings <laughs> and I've been really in my feelings <laughs> ever since Mercury entered retrograde and it's also Pisces season so I and oh also and I missed my period last month so I think I have like a an excess of estrogen in my body I'm not pregnant or anything it's fine um like a built up amount of estrogen in my body so I just I just feel like a like a puddle of of tears and sadness and and gee whiz is this not a good start to this video. <laughs> um I guess I'll finally crawl out of bed, make some coffee and shower and I don't know, I feel like I'm going to be talking a lot in this video about shit that probably don't really matter, but it matters to me. I shampooed my hair. I shaved me leggies. Well, the bottom half of me leggies. <laughs> and I did a little bit of spring cleaning on my pubic hair. Is that TMI? Absolutely. I think I'm gonna try to plan out a writing schedule for myself in the sense that I've been trying to write and I get like good chunks of writing done, but the, my problem is, and maybe it's because I am a Gemini. I'm just so, f I'm like just filled with like all these ideas, all like, all these stories that I want to work on, all these scenes and characters and dialogue that I want to write. And it's hard for me to really stick long term with any like particular story because my mind's always jumping to the next idea. I was getting like really frustrated and I was not like I was thinking I'm gonna be not disciplined enough as a writer to like stick with one story like in the long term I look so ugly right now my eyes are so swollen for my allergies anyways um I was thinking like am I not like disciplined enough like as a writer to really stick with one story at a time because I remember I had um a professor once like spit that idea to me that I you know, to be a writer, you need to be disciplined and work on one story, work through your writer's block, and I don't know, blah, 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 Some advice I paid a shit ton of money for. Um, and I realized I don't think that's true, like, at all. <laughs> and so what I want to do is, I have, like, all these ideas, but I have three big ones that I've had for a very for myself what I would consider a very long time and each of these story ideas has an ending to it and to me one of the better pieces of advice that I ever gotten in college was 
you can't write anything without knowing the ending and I understand that might not work for everyone but I realized if I have the ending in mind then I don't meander um, when it comes to things I know what my my end point is like my finishing goal and each of my three story ideas I have like the ending scene in mind like I see it so clearly in such crisp detail that I feel confident in pursuing um, each of these ideas. Really another writing project and I want to make a video essay about this whole topic so I guess I'll give you an insight into it now. If you follow me on Twitter, I scream about this all the time, and especially with the like with the release of Captain Marvel coming out. I really want to um, make a video essay and also throw my idea of what I think would be a really good movie for the MCU. I don't know if it would be included in the MCU because I guess it would be through Sony, but whatever, whatever. It doesn't. Tangents. Tangents! Um, I really want to make a video essay um, on why I think we need a Jessica Drew Spider-Woman movie. Um, film, if you will. And I have that whole idea for that movie plotted out in my mind. I, like I said, I have the clear vision of the ending, so once again, that one I very much need to get on paper. So ultimately, like what I want to do is try to set up like each day or each day, whatever works I'll be flexible with it but you know make you know today I'm gonna work on the horror story the next day or next two days whatever however it works out right I'll work on this YA story um you know day three rolls around I'm gonna work on this you know superhero story because that way I can work on all my projects I can work on all my ideas and not feel defeated that I want to jump to the next story idea or you know I really want to work on this project but I'm already six pages in on this project so should I keep going with the six pages or should I start from zero I don't know it's a lot of self-doubt <laughs> Kind of before I head out the door, I just want to, on my days off, I've been trying not to wear any makeup or very little makeup, at least no face makeup at least, because my skin has been not doing too hot. So right now I really have, I only have on mascara and a little bit of like a tinted chapstick. And how am I looking? Really trying to use like a lot of like aluminizing and moisturizing products to help with flaking and breakouts and make it look somewhat, you know, alive. I don't know how I feel though. Poor self-esteem, am I right? All right, let's get out the door. Frankie, my little gremlin. Hi. <laughs> look at this little nut. Who's a little nut? Who's a little nut? You're a little nut. I don't know why I ever get the idea that Wegmans will never not be bumping at any time of the day. Like, I legitimately thought to myself that Wegmans wouldn't be busy at 1 p.m. And that was easily the most frustrating experience I have ever had in a grocery store. Too many fucking old people, too many fucking dude bros buying cases of Michelob Ultra for their frat parties this weekend. And strangely, way too many people I graduated high school with that are single mothers now, which is no shade to any of them at all. But, like, goddamn, two kids already? Anyways, I managed to buy some good healthy foods for my new diet weight loss plan because at the end of last year, which was like literally only a couple months ago, I had gotten down to my goal weight of 125, but now I've been like recently weighing myself again and I'm back at 130 and 
five pounds it's like not the end of the world obviously at 130 i'm not overweight i'm not underweight i'm perfectly normal and healthy and that's fine and dandy it's just i don't want five pounds to become 10 and i don't want 10 to become 15 and 15 to become 20 because that's usually how it goes for me not the end of the world mary shannon McHugh. um but Hopefully I can get shit going again, um, especially with summer, fingers crossed. Ideally, being here soon, maybe, instead of it being fucking cold. <laughs> I bought yams, sweet potatoes. Ideally, I th think yams and sweet potatoes are the same thing. I don't really know. I wish really, I really wish I wasn't fucking stupid. <laughs> up this motor vehicle it is brick tits out my dudes <laughs> um yeah so i just got out of my acting lesson and that's cooler i just got out of my acting lesson and i have a new play full for love by sam shepherd i'm really excited because i've never heard of it before and i've actually never heard of sam shepherd and that's rare for me because usually i know most things and this thing I don't know. So that's fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, my acting lesson went really well today. I got a new monologue that is much darker in tone and has a lot more incest. So that's fun. Um, but I'm really excited. My acting classes are going really well and I'm glad I stuck with them because there was like a month period where my schedule and my um, coach's schedule just wasn't matching up and I was like it really gave me like a lot of time to think like am I wasting my time doing this is this dumb is this stupid um is it even worth it um but ever since I got back in it finally I've been able to like meet up and like I've actually made a lot more progress than I think I give myself credit for but that's like a natural talent of mine um which is just shitting on any skill that i might have <laughs> um but yeah i have been making a lot of progress and it's going really well and i'm excited to like work with like more serious like complex material it sounds really snobby <laughs> um but yeah he trusts me with it and we get along great and we just keep working on my stage presence and you know my delivery and getting into these characters because I really do love performing and I miss performing because I mean all throughout all four years of college I did burlesque and like I've always had a very performative personality obviously like doing YouTube and like all my other videos it's very I put on a lot and I've always been like a storyteller and like a comedian and like you know when I did burlesque I was like getting naked and dancing in front of strangers and it was really fun and I really like performing and I don't have much of an opportunity right now to do this to to perform is this making any sense Ugh. I don't have much of an opportunity to perform here and then I don't know, at least doing these lessons, it's getting me back on stage, which feels really good because especially towards the end of college and with burlesque, I just hated burlesque. I hated performing. I hated all of it just because I think I was just really stressed out with graduating, but a lot of it just put a sour taste in my mouth. Um, but it feels good to be getting back into it. I really want to do burlesque again, and I've been trying, trying to, but... I don't know. I don't know. It was such a huge part of my life for four years, but I hated it so much towards the end. And I don't know if I want to get back into it because it's a lot. 
but then I see like my best friend Olivia doing it and I'm just so jealous of her because she's doing great and she's doing amazing and she's in the city right now and she's taking after all these opportunities that I don't have here which is it's fine but like I said I do have these acting lessons and I'm learning how to become an actor um will it ever become anything probably not but skills are skills and that's all that matters not have a massive pile of laundry to do better yet when will I stop buying clothes never I never will you like my mom PJs do you think I'm sexy um so I finally gotten back home I'm exhausted I didn't Today was much more eventful than I thought it was going to be. While granted, I got most things done on my agenda. I... Uh, I didn't get a chance to write today. And I really set this goal for myself at the beginning of the year to write a thousand words a day. And I have good weeks and I have bad weeks. And this is a bad week for that goal because like I was talking about earlier in the vlog I just have so many ideas and I'm just so tired I'm just so tired and I don't know I don't know if I'm just making excuses or I just I don't know I'm just frustrated because I uh, I can't even talk. I can't even make a fucking sentence. Yeah, I don't know. I I want to write. I really wanted to plan out my Jessica Drew video, and I still haven't, and I'm getting frustrated. And I'm going to try to this weekend. Because it's one of those deals where I, I see the whole essay, I see the whole thing in my head, and I just, I can't put it on paper i mean i can't put it on paper i have two working hands i can put it on paper but i don't i don't know i just keep getting distracted and i just want to lay in bed and watch umbrella academy but no one got anywhere in life watching netflix i guess this is the sad part now <laughs> can i just it's just lately, every night, I've been going to bed and I've just been feeling like this... Uh, I've just been feeling like such like an existential dread and it like hurts. <laughs> it hurts so much. But I'm just so worried that I'm not doing enough to accomplish everything I want to do and it just feels like I just have no time and it's already March it's already we're already three months in into 2019 and I I feel like I've done nothing and it sucks and then lately I've just been thinking about death a lot and not in like not in a way where like I want to kill myself or anything like that um, so I know I joke about that a lot, but I just feel like it's just crazy to me that one day I'm just going to be nothing. I'm just going to be six feet under and, and I think about that thought so hard that it almost feels like my day to day isn't real. I don't know if that makes, it doesn't make any sense. 
And I wish I could make sense of the stupid way my brain thinks. I just... I think it's because my future feels so uncertain. But I know one day I will die. And that's the only thing that's ever certain about our future is that eventually you will have no future. That you will just be nothing. That you will just be food for worms. And I don't know. If I had the chance to look into a crystal ball or have someone tell me where I would be five years from now, I would absolutely do it. I would absolutely want to know where I am. Because I don't know if if I'm working hard enough or if I'm not working hard enough and it, it fucking sucks. God, I'm fucking sad. Um, I don't know. I hate Pisces season. I hate water signs. I hate feeling this emotional. I just, I just want to know if I'm, if I'm doing the right thing. That's all. Like, am I writing the right stuff? Should I even be writing? Should I find a new job? Should I stop filming these stupid videos? Should I, should I just buy a car and pack up everything I own and just go somewhere? I don't know where, but just go. I, I don't know. Cause, cause, it just, it's just, there's only so many times you can try to tell yourself that it's gonna work out. And there's only so many times my friends can tell me, you're, you know, you're doing it, you're doing enough, I'm so proud of you. I, after a while it just doesn't, it doesn't seem, it doesn't seem real or genuine. And it's no fault to anyone other than how my stupid fucking brain works. I don't know. I just want to make people proud of me. I just want to be proud of myself. Um. Uh oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to start crying. I feel like such a drama queen. Am I Trisha Paytas yet? <laughs> Is this my Trisha Paytas moment? I just, I don't know, I just want to make everyone proud, I just, I just gotta keep going, you know, we all just gotta keep going, <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm done, I'm done crying, I don't want to cry anymore, um, Thank you for watching today's video. <laughs> um, sorry, it was such a downer. <laughs> um, hopefully, I'll be back with a funny video next time or something a lot more positive than I am right now. <laughs> um, but be sure to like, comment. Oh, that feels fake. I'm not going to say my stupid bullshit as I have tears coming down my face. I'm sorry. Thank you for watching. I love you very dearly and have a good rest of your day. <laughs>